Hello and welcome to my Loan With Me Mini Freak series. This is episode 12, Macros. So first, what is a Loan With Me series? A Loan With Me series is a series where you follow my end-to-end -end process in learning to get the best out of a synthesizer. In this case, it is the Arturia Mini Freak. Last episode, we had a listen to the effects. This episode, we're going to dive into what I consider another of the important enhancements over the Micro Freak, which is the Macros. So, as always, let's create an init patch. Let's make a sound. What should we do? Maybe this, um, nice. I think for a macro, I'm gonna go for something more like a pad sound, so let's go. So since I'm only using one oscillator, I'm going to try using paraphonic mode because I haven't been using paraphonic mode. The key with paraphonic mode here is you only have one oscillator available and um, the other oscillator is used or the computational power that the other oscillator would use will go towards providing me with 12 notes of apparent polyphony. that in polyphonic or paraphonic mode it sounds basically identical because I'm playing six or fewer notes. Let's give a little bit more release. That's velocity sensitivity. <laughs> Seems to have spent a rather long time messing around with this, but let's do it. Let's, uh, this one. Yeah. So firstly, what are macros? Macros in this case are a pair of controls which are unlike the mod wheel disjoint from the mod matrix, each of which can be used to modulate up to four parameters, whereby when this is zero, the parameter will be unaffected and where this is maximum, the parameter will be at a specified value. In the mod wheel, we have access to the full mod matrix, but um, the macros themselves, because they're separate, allow us to think in slightly different ways. One of the ways in which that is, is when we're using the assignable slots in the mod matrix, we have nine of them. Well, the macros can go to any of the panel controls. So it's possible, for example, for the macros to control additional parameters even when all of our mod slots are taken up. So let's think about what we want to do here. What I'm going to do is turn one of the macros up to maximum. And now I'm going to go into assign. That means shift and press the macro button. And now if I adjust any of the knobs, it's going to let me adjust that parameter. I can use the edit dial to go through these things. If I press and hold, uh, I press and hold, it will delete it. So I can press and hold there. So let's say in this case, I want the cutoff to go up. I want the resonance to go down. And let's just listen to that for now. I'm going to do it the other way around, actually. adjusting some of these tumble parameters. I'm going to go out of assign mode so I can listen. So I 
think what I'm going to do is turn saturate and weight bold up. So back into macro sign, back on macro one. So let's So now in macro 2, what I think I'll do is I'll try and turn this sound from a pad sound into a keys type of sound. So let's put this to the maximum. Let's go into assignment mode. And in order to do that, So with both controls down, with macro 2 fully up, with only macro 1 fully up, it's so a much softer sound with both fully up. I'm sure you can hear that, firstly, this gives us some controls outside of what the mod matrix offers to us, and secondly, these controls can be relatively extreme if we wish, because we can fine tune them. So one of the ways I like to use macros is to think about when I'm designing a patch, sometimes I'll think I could go either of two ways. So the macros give me an opportunity to represent both of those two ways rather than finding a middle ground. That's to say where the macro control is at one extent, we get one of the two sounds I was thinking of, and at the other extent, we get the other. And then when someone is performing, they can fade between them. If you were performing a sounds using the ARP and the sequencer, again, the macros would be excellent performance controls. I would suggest that you could do a performance on this synthesizer just using the sequencer and the macros and maybe the mod wheel. You could probably latch a key and perform here, and that could be sufficient to give several minutes <laughs> of interesting sounds. In any case, um, thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll join me for some more episodes, but in any case, goodbye.